America's culture war is being fought in the classroom, and now there is a battle waging over banned books. Yeah, last year, Florida passed a new law to review reading materials made available in classrooms. And this month, Martin County, Florida announced the removal of 92 books from its schools. 20 of those books were written by best selling author Jody Pico, and she is here to discuss this with us. Jody, thank you so much for being here. Thanks on GMA for having 3. me. Thank Absolutely. You. Okay, so listen, you say that you've had your books banned before, mm -hmm. but never 20 all at once. Nope. Why do you think your books are getting banned, especially there in Florida? That is an excellent question. But unfortunately, in Martin County, Florida, and in many places in Florida, one parent can decide to pull a book from a shelf without even giving a reason for that. And the one parent who wanted to ban all 20 of my books um, said on her form uh, that she had not read the book. She admitted to that. And she said that uh, some of them were adult romance, which is really interesting because I don't write adult romance. And in fact, half of the books she pulled do not even have a single kiss in them. But they do have topics like gun rights and women's reproductive health rights and uh, gay rights and things that make... Right, because all of your books yeah. are very topical. It's like what's yeah. happening in the moment. So they're, they're books that are in, to encourage kids to think for themselves. They're at a high school library. It's worth saying that. This is not an elementary school library. And the modus operandi is to get the books pulled off the shelves because um, the process for review is very muddy. And so the books stay off the shelves, away from kids, until they actually manage to figure out a way to review them. Mm. There are some libraries in Florida, actually, school libraries, where they have not had any books in elementary school libraries since Christmas. Wow. Well, and you said you've had even two more pulled off the shelves. Yeah, just this even weekend. This weekend. Yeah. And when you're talking about adult romance, see, that's not what I'm writing. Even no. your book, The Storyteller, mm -hmm. it's a novel about the Holocaust. Has that's correct. Yeah, that was the one that really shocked me in Martin yeah. County because it's a book about fascism and the rise of fascism and how ordinary people can play into that. And it felt very ironic to have a book about the Holocaust banned. Um, it, you know, it's a story for people whose stories can't be told, and that's the reason that we need books like this on the shelf. So I want to show this moment from last week. This was at a Martin County uh, School Board mm -hmm. meeting. This is a 100-year-old World War II widow, mm -hmm. and she spoke out against these book bans. Okay, the moment went viral. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. One of the freedoms that the Nazis crushed was the freedom to read the books they banned. They stopped the free press, banned and burned books. The freedom to read, which is protected by the First Amendment, is our essential right and duty of our democracy. It is just chilling to hear mm -hmm. that. Jody, what is your reaction when you hear that? That I wish she didn't have to fight this battle that we shouldn't have to relive history all over again, that it's okay for a parent to decide whether or not a book is appropriate for their own child, but it's not appropriate for that same parent to make the decision for your child. Right, you call that a colossal problem. It right? is a colossal there is problem. individual parenting and individual family decisions yes. that need to be made here. Exactly. Especially at a time when we're setting record for book bans. So mm -hmm. keep this in mind. There's a new report from the American Library Association. Mm -hmm. Attempted book bannings and restrictions at school and public libraries actually set a record in 2022 with more than 1,200 challenges. So to put that in perspective for you, it's nearly double the total from 2021. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So what do you think is driving this nationwide idea? Um, I think it is a small, very vocal group of people who are speaking out. The vast majority of folks in this country know that we should not be banning books, that we should not be restricting what kids are reading, um, you know, especially at a high school level. Uh, I think that unfortunately the minority is much louder than the majority. And so we all really need to take a stand. You can't listen to the politicians when they say these aren't bans, it's a hoax. I'm an author. 20 of my books were pulled off a shelf in one particular school district. That is not a hoax. That is a ban. And it's really important that right now we all speak out against this because we've seen historically what happens when we do not. And as Gio said, you know, your books are always grounded in topical information, but also from my experience <laughs> in reading your books, they're grounded in research. Yes. And so it is a fantastic learning tool. Yeah. So, Joe, but thank stop you so writing much. all those romance novels. <laughs> uh, trust me, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. And her latest book, by the way, Mad Honey, is available now best-selling author Jody Pico. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.